So I just got 12th and I played nine games. The leading score players got uh, to play 11 and 12 and 10 games for 10, uh, 10 for silver, 11 for gold, 12 for bronze. But I played nine games. I lost one game, so that is pretty good, isn't it? And now I'm going to bring you a game that I choose. And the last round was a draw. So uh, even though I was in a bit of a better position, I offered my opponent like 16 seconds before the tournament finished. So I haven't played the whole tournament. And so here comes here comes this game for you. Hope you really enjoy it. And I think it's great. Oh, I'm enjoying it because I'm doing these puzzles here and there. So my opponents often have played this. Okay, C4 and E4 against the French. And I used to sort of shy away from it and play C5, which is not exactly shying away from it because thereby I'm playing into a Maroxy bind Sicilian de defence or attack or whatever we want to call it. But I have been of late... Uh, for about like since the start of the year, not shying away from it because I'm transposing into the Karakun where white is not advised to capture the C6 pawn, as you will see, because white just gets well behind in development and centralization and probably even king safety. So here it goes, d5, not shying away, having the, the steel to play the move because it looks pretty, you know, not great after e, c d5, e d5, e d5, queen d5. It doesn't look great for white, I mean for black. <laughs> doesn't look good for black players because queen d5 and knight c3 and already uh, white's developed and you've got to move your queen again and it's not quite the same as a Scandinavian Scandinavian or a Scandi or a centre counter gambit whichever why it's called a centre counter gambit I will never know nor did Bobby Fisher Bobby Fisher did think nothing of the opening even though it's one of my best friend's favourite opening as you can see if you have a look at uh, Scandi underneath on the da -da -da, titles or whatever, not titles. Here we go. Let's have a look. So here is uh, here is c six as promised. Now this offers White the opportunity to grab a pawn, but I don't think it's a good idea myself personally, and I don't think that um, great players of chess think it's a great idea to grab this other pawn because when I capture with knight c6 already and we're in the French defence Steiner variation when I have captured on so it's still the French defence they're not calling it the Karakun um, it could be uh, but where the, it's probably wrong what I'm saying um, knight c6 and I've already developed you see and now I've got this is a whole full open C file. This is a half open D file. This is a full E file open. Whereas white has only got two e two files to operate on. See? E file, C file. Whereas black's got an extra one. Also, have a look at the square here. Look, look there's no way that D4 is going to happen. I mean, it can happen, but uh, it's not going to be immediate because just swiping the pawn with queen d4 and if queen d4, then knight d4 and all of a sudden white has to already look after the square and it's very difficult to look after it other than obvious moves, David, like bishop d3. But it's not comfortable, is it, really? Uh, it's way better and easier for black players to have this position than it is of white, even though white is a pawn up. So don't go to the end game because then 
black might lose. So we've got to keep away from that. Okay, knight c3. So here comes another developing move from David. Uh, bishop c5, where now this pawn move to d4 is looking even worse than it did two moves ago or one move ago. So here's knight f3, a uh, uh, fighting for the um, d4 square, which is owned by black at the moment. Uh, bishop g4, so this is countering white sort of attack on uh, trying to get some sort of um, final final um, ness in the centre where I have the control of d4 square. So bishop e2, so it's nullifying my pin on knight f3. Knight g e7 continuing with the very important development of one's pieces in the opening. Castling, castling, not developing, developing, but just merely connecting the rooks up. But this is not, castling is not um, looked upon as a developing move. Now, a sort of a common mistake after a3 for black players to make is like knight d4, okay? As, why is it that a mistake? Because white has knight d4, and then all of a sudden this bishop on g4 for black is attacked and white has just captured the knight on d4. So white's a piece up and a pawn. And then black players need to think about what they're going to do next. Uh, if they take the knight with queen d4 or bishop d4, then they find out that Bishop g4 wins a piece for black, white. Uh, however, after knight d4, okay, after knight d4, this is a variation, knight d4, bishop e2, we do not have queen e2, we have knight d e2. And now, see, count, white has um, grabbed a piece off black for nothing, so that's not advisable. So it's just something to be careful of. And here is my move against a3 is a5, which is holding this pawn to restraint to not be able to move freely. I want to keep white in a cage here. So moving on, here is a non-developing move like my a5 is from white's hand. Now knight a4. And I place my bishop to a7 where it is doing one of the, my principles, or not mine, but hide your bishops on h2, h7, a7, a2. Hide them there, depending on what colour you are. And uh, often your opponent will miss them in lightning chess. So bishop a7, knight e1. So... Do I take on e2 or do you take on e2 or not? I placed bishop e2 because I'm going to be able to plant this knight into d4 upon queen e2. I now just play the obvious move, knight d4 and queen d1. And now what? Now you might as well. Um, you could play knight e f5. You could play knight d5. You could play knight g6. You could play f5. Uh, you could play something else. But I uh, decided to pick on this knight. Um, I just had to check something. I accidentally hit the uh, the wrong button on my keyboard. So now I will go back to this game. And so I'm saying that uh, what's your next move? And I hope you uh, came up with a 
better move or a really, really good move comparative to mine. But there are weaknesses in White's camp. There and there are weaknesses. Maybe. And the weakness, of course, is this. This is the weakness with White at the moment. It's very hard to get out of this kind of hole for White. It's very, very difficult. I know. I've tried. So here came B5. Excuse me. There's nothing in particular great about this uh, but knight c3 and I just play b4 and here is a b4 and a b4 knight a4 blunder I think it's a blunder I'm pretty sure it's a blunder I think it's a blunder knight a4 for one thing it's sitting on the edge of the board two all of a sudden the square becomes weak again and I have opt Options of plain b3 and that sort of thing. And also the knights are lacking defence on a4, then it isn't so bad if it stays central. But moving it to a4, I think, is inaccurate at least. So knight a4 and knight e f5. Uh, I was going uh, basically take your pick. Um, but I'm glad I went here because now knight f3 happens. I just think, well, I'm going to now further my development. I haven't finished yet. I still haven't got my queen out or a rook on one of those files I spoke about earlier. So I played rook e8. And now the moves, fl the moves are flowing for black. Uh, rook e8 now might threaten... Um, Knight f3 check and knight d4 and knight e2 or something. Or knight c2 or b3 and knight c2 or something like that. I don't know. Because I haven't played it since I've finished this game. Knight d4, knight d4, d3. Now, this is um, an aid to get the bishop out, of course. But it's a little bit sad that uh, we're at move, for me too... It's a little bit sad that we're at move 20 and d3 is moved. So here I play, what would you play here? Um, and this gets quite tangly now. I played here, so I hope you're ready for it, b3. I'll just check my screen again to see that I'm not muted. I can mute myself. Uh, b3. Now this is um, tangly now. It's getting into sort of puzzle um, realm area to find the next move for black upon bishop e3 is of course knight c2. Now this um, just is like fireworks in, in black's and white's camp uh, because namely, first of all, white is attacked here uh, three times by the bishop, rook, knight, this bishop here, and only defended twice. Secondly, this is a discovery attack on the knight, which might actually create problems. And, of course, how is white going to defend one knight a4, or knight a4, whatever we call it? How are we going to defend that? Uh, it's pretty hard. Now, say for instance, white now goes, oh, I'm going to lose this knight, so I'm going to try to save that. So I'm going to move it back, okay? So let's say white moves this back now. Then we have just simply this, okay? Now, there's no bishop takes bishop because rook takes and it's game over because the rook now defends the queen and the queen capture on a1 but also if you have a lot of this this is no good either is it because um this so i think that's what i just said so if queen a1 now then we just have simply bishop e3 and that's a, a clear win of a piece which is pretty handsome 
Okay, so back to the drawing board. B3 and bishop e3, knight c2. And my opponent played bishop a7 here, which I think was a little bit sad. And I played rook a7. Now, my opponent played rook c1, so it's more or less a mop-up now with rook a4. My opponent is 21-20 sort of thing. Rook a4, rook c2, b c2, queen c2, rook d4, no nonsense here, rook d1. Your move now, what would you play? Of course you would. You'd play this move and make your opponent resign. Rook d3, no I will not resign. My opponent keeps playing on. Rook f1, rook d2, and that is where my opponent resigned. Not lost on time, but resigned, because now it's pretty hard, isn't it? Uh, so there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's game. I hope you got something out of it. I hope my um, my uh, ideas in the opening and all that sort of thing aid you in your game of chess, because the opening is so important. Uh, if you don't play it right in the opening, then sometimes, like someone said a while back, if if your opponent, if your game is sick, yeah, if your opening is sick, then you might find it hard to get out of it later on. But hopefully you do. But there you go. Bye for now.